my Virgo babies. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to the video. KK dropping gems. Sun, moon, rise, and Mars, Mercury, Venus. Whatever place that you have Virgos in your chart, okay? Second half of February. Whenever you read these videos, when it's for you, take what you need, leave the rest. All right, guys. Please feel free to follow me on IG at the real Hadia K. I have my clarity oils, love oils, money oils, prosperity protection kits, three to five different flavors of my goddess yoni themes. All right, let's get into it, baby. My personal readings are also open and available. If you guys are interested in any of my services or my products, all that information is in the description box below, baby. All right, let's go. Gemini. Virgo, you could be dealing with a Gemini or Geminis can be in your energy, okay? Virgos, collectively, what messages do I have? Virgos, Virgos, collectively, Virgos, collectively. Virgos, collectively, what messages do I have for the second half of February? What messages do I have for moon rising? Collectively, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Second half of February, February 14th through 29th, 2020 for my Virgos collectively. What messages do I have for my Virgos, my Virgos collectively? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm also getting 11-11. You guys could definitely be dealing with a Leo, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Strength card. There's a need for you guys to have strength or release any heart heartbreak or any burdens, any pain, any anguish, any stress. There's a need for you guys to move forward or you guys are moving forward. This is also listening to your intuition. Okay? You guys are very protective over yourself, over your foundation, over your life as well. I'm also getting your being angelically guided. Okay, you guys can be being angelic guided to continue to have strength or to continue to push forward or move forward or move on in a situation. Okay, this can also be you could be having the strength or courage to propose to somebody as well, Virgo. This can also be solidifying a relationship. So some of you guys can be getting promise rings, engagement rings, or this is proposals, okay? A new opportunity. This can also be a new business venture as well, okay? But I definitely feel like this is a relationship that's being solidified. Like, some of you guys... That's really what I'm getting. Or there's some type of proposal that you're writing out, okay, when it comes to a business endeavor, something that's money-making, all right? I feel like you guys are juggling two different ideas or you have two different ways of going about something. You guys can be realizing that there's some type of truth that you guys are needing to be honest with yourself about because emotionally you're not really happy or you're not feeling emotionally fulfilled with whatever you're doing, whatever you're, whoever you're with emotionally or whatever you're doing when it comes to finances or stability here. I do feel like you could be sexually frustrated here, or you could be, uh, like, a, yeah, you're sexually frustrated because you also realize that a relationship isn't working, or I'm also getting, uh, sex can be a hard thing to come by is what I'm hearing, but I'm also getting a relationship, should, a relationship may have ended because sexually, maybe somebody wasn't sexually compatible, or someone's, uh, it's like, Someone was, either wasn't attracted or something that somebody did in the bedroom wasn't attractive. I'm also getting someone is drinking. Someone is all in their head as well. I'm also getting there's a need for you guys to speak your truth here, okay? Because you guys have the money. You guys have the money. You guys are secure. You guys are stable. You guys are growing or flourishing here. The moon card. You guys are listening to your intuition or you are. You guys can also be on your menstrual cycle if you're from that energy. Some of you guys can also be very sensitive at this time. And this is the reason... Why? You're sensitive because of a breakup, okay? Because something ended or because you're not seeing eye to eye with somebody. But this is also because of a juggling situation. Someone was juggling two people and that's the reason why a relationship ended. I'm also getting the truth was held back when it came to a relationship that somebody was juggling two people. And emotionally, this is the reason of the, this is the reason why somebody wanted to just focus on their finances. But I'm also getting the truth was it. Some of you guys, the truth was that you guys wanted to just focus on your finances and you guys didn't know how to tell this person that. But I'm also getting you guys broke up or separated. You guys are focused on your stability, but at the same time, you guys are still not being honest with yourself about how you feel when it comes to this relationship or this person because you guys are still thinking about them. You're just still in your thoughts. And when you're at night laying down, you can't keep you keep thinking about them. They keep thinking about you, okay? So... 
Yeah. This can also be somebody that's into the spiritual cult. You could like somebody that's into the spiritual cult. Or it's kind of like, like I said, you guys are very emotional, very sensitive sensitive at this time. And it's also the reason, the also the reason being of it is to be anxiety because your spirit knows when you're not being honest with yourself or you're not telling the whole truth. Some of you guys are telling little bits and pieces of the truth, Virgo. Be honest with yourself about relations, relationships, or people that you have feelings for, or whatever the case may be. Okay? Because remember, these energies can be interchangeable. Take what you need, leave the rest, guys. Peace, love, and light. I share. I love you guys how I love myself.